Well, good morning, everybody. Um, I originally started doing these YouTube videos for the ladies on Coloring Books Keep It Clean. It's a group that I moderate on Facebook. We started March of 2016. This is August. We have over 300 ladies. We have had several companies and artists to send out books for review. This is one of them. I got this one in the mail yesterday from Nicole Stocker. And it is a grayscale book. I did a review on it yesterday, so I'm not going to review the whole thing today. But I do want to walk you through a step or two on how to actually work in it. It is not hard. It is very simple. I did forget to mention on the review that the pages are archival paper. So you could even pull these pages out and use them in your scrapbooking. Alright, so to me that's an added bonus when I can use those pages on something else. And um, I will be doing a YouTube video at some point on how to make bookmarks, margins, cards, and all that kind of thing out of your coloring book pages. Okay, so here we go. I am using the Polychromo colored pencils by P Fabric Castell and they are not sponsoring me or anything. They have not sent me pencils or anything like that. I just happen to like their pencils. These are the colors I'm going to be using today. And what I did, oh, this eraser erases almost any colored pencil. Get it at your art supply store. So, um, I went to my color swatches and decided I was going to do this flower in some orangey yellows. So I went through and picked out which ones I thought would work the best together. Um, I love using this little thing. I make these up for my uh, washi tape, my paints, my colored pencils, just any and everything. So, and there is a video on YouTube that I posted on how to do these. So, um, anyway, whenever I go to do my colors, I can always look. This is my favorite color wheel. You can get it online. It is put out by, I always forget this and I should not, EK Success. It was created for them. It is called the Rainbow Color Selector. The reason I like this one, Dritz, that's the company name I was looking for. They put it out. Um, this one has holes. So, like, if I wanted to match this color, I would come in here, look, okay, it's close to this. So then my background color, if I go across from that, that's a number three. Go the, all the way across go to the number three. That color is the color that would go perfect with that for backgrounds. And as you can tell, she did use a blue-green on that background. Okay, she actually used, let's see, probably from one of these blues. So if I mark this going across, then she pulled from this orange, which is very good because yes, that orange is definitely in there. Okay, so this, this is a wonderful piece. That's why I like the holes and the numbers and everything around it. All right, enough time. Wasted. <laughs> it's not wasted if it helps explain something to somebody, so don't misunderstand me on that. When I'm doing my colored pencils, I like to put them in color order and just hold them in my hand. Now, I got this yesterday. And um, I was just dying to get to it. And this is what I've done. Very, very easy. Now I want to zoom in on this middle section. Do you see there? I've already done the darker area with the um, number 115. So now I'm going to go to the lightest area. Usually I go medium. I'm going light when I'm doing these books. I'm going to try to keep my hand out of the picture so that it will stay focused on the colored pencil and not on my hand. So I'm coming through here and getting the lightest. 
Now I just got that in pretty bold, but then I'm going to go really light around here. Alright, so I'm going to do all these little light sections. Now see, this here is a medium section. It's not as dark as the first section was, but it's, um, it's definitely not the light. So I'm just going to go around that and leave it alone for now. Okay, do you see how these are all medium to dark? There's a little bitty light piece there, so I'm going to do that. There's a little light here on the tip of that, and that's about it for the light. All right, so then I'm going to go to my medium shade, which is my number 111. And I am going to come in here and start blending all this. Now normally I teach you blend with your lightest color. So what I'm going to do is go up next to the darks and the lights. But I'm going to come back and blend with my lightest. Now this is actually part of this. This is the shade lighter than this dark. So I can go ahead and shade with this. So I will come around here, or not shade, blend. So I will come around here and blend with that. Okay, those are blended nicely. Then here, and because this color is lighter than this, I can use this for blending. So I will blend this in to here. This paper is so nice and thick that you can really get down in there with the colors. Now this is a medium and it's part of this. So it's going to come down this way when I start blending. Alright, the reason I'm showing you this middle section is because there was so much to it. And sometimes that can be just a little bit confusing. This is part of this dark one. So I'm going to come over here and blend it in. Whoops, I'm really shaking the table. All right, this is part of this one. So I'm going to deepen that, but I'm not going to blend it with that one because I would go shade lighter. Okay, this can be shaded in with this because it's the lighter of the two colors. All right, now I'm going to go back let me make sure I've got all this in here blended nice. Oh, and this was medium around here. You, of course, can turn the book however it's more comfortable for you to color. And um, coloring, colored pencil artists actually call, call this painting. So if you ever hear them say that they're painting, that they're referring to their coloring, but that's just what they call it. But yeah, get it to wherever you can do it to be comfortable. I just try not to twist around a lot because I don't want to make you dizzy. So now I'm going to go to my lightest, and I'm going to come in and blend with that medium. And this is number 109. And again, these are the Polychromos by Fiber Castell. And if they ever see this and would like to send me the large set, I would welcome that. If I have any rich friends out there, yeah, I'd be happy to send you my address. These are probably one of the most expensive colored pencils out there, but they are not wax-based like my, um, oops, let me get that in there. Like my uh, others that I usually use, the, why can I not think of it? I'll go blank. Anyway, I'll think of them in a minute. These are actually the um, oil base. Okay, so I can evidently not color and talk at the same time today. So anyway, there's that. If we zoom back out. Okay, 
something I am going to do is come back over here. Actually, first, I'm going to take this dark, the 190. Prismacolors is what I was trying to think. They're the wax base. These are an oil base, so you don't get that build-up, cloudy look, although I still do like the others. I'm going to take this darker shade, and even though I've already done this, I'm going to come in and make this just a little darker. What it does is just pushes this petal to the back and pops these to the front. So it doesn't do a whole lot, but it does just enough that I think it's worth a little bit of extra. So let's look at this one right here. So I would add some right here just under the edge. just to pop all that to the front. And if I have to blend it, I'm going to go to my lighter color to blend. Okay, we're using that like a blending stick. Okay, over here, you can see where I've already started the next one. But the, this should give you an idea how to do it. So I did my, my um, dark. Now, not that darkest that I just did there. I did my, my other dark. And then I did my lightest. And then I'm going to come in with my medium. And I'm just going to blend these. And that's all there is to it. little circular motion. But look how lovely that just blends together. Okay. little circular motion. That's how you keep from getting pencil strokes in your work. And I am pushing down fairly hard. My whole table is shaking. This is going to time out before I can finish. But again, I did darker anywhere where it looked darker. So when I get over to this one, that little spot's going to be darker to match this darkness. But anyway, I'm just going to keep coloring and let this time out. And um, again, if you're part of Coloring Books, keep it clean on Facebook. I just love our group. Welcome home. Glad you found us. If you're not there yet, go look us up. We're easy to find, easy to get in. And yes, we keep everything clean. No curse word books. Um, no skulls, witches, none of that type thing. It's, it's really fairly inspirational, in fact. And I did not plan it that way. But it's it's been wonderful. So... And you can see I'm not even really neat on this. Just kind of getting that color in there. These books, the grayscales, they are so forgiving. And this is the one on nature. She also has one that she's put out that is on um, beautiful creatures. So, and again, I, that YouTube video was put out yesterday for the review. And I flip through and show you all the pages wonderful pages here. Now do you see how that's all blending? And again you're going to see some white in there because I've got to go over it again. Um, these pages have a lot of tooth which means they do accept the color really well but you'll have to go over it a couple times to get all the white to where it doesn't show up. But that's okay. It, it doesn't take long to go over each one. And the pages are just beautiful. But yeah, archival safe, so you can um, use these in your scrapbooking. How awesome would it be to put a photo in with this? And they have awesome borders. I'll trade back to my lightest color to come up here and blend this. Really surprised this hasn't timed out on my phone yet. Okay, so you saw how long that took. Not nearly as long as my normal pages do. Okay, and I'm just going to keep working along here. Y'all have a good day, and um, I'll see you somewhere on the flip side. We'll, we'll meet up again soon. I'm just going to come in here and do this really light. Come across here light, and then in here it'll be darker.
chakra up close to the throat area. Lighter as you come out. And it's grayscale, so it shows you all that. If you subscribe to my videos, it will automatically tell you when I've posted one, too. I think I've done 50-something in the last few months. Never had a channel before. I had to go make one. There were so many questions from the ladies on coloring. Good questions, too. Really excites me how much they've learned. And then the light, and then I'll take the medium and blend them. And then lighter as I go in. Lighter when you go in makes it easier for that next color to really blend in easier. I want my brightest on the edge. It's where it's white. And my medium shade to blend. These books are sold on Amazon. So, and if you're on my coloring book group on Facebook, we're actually going to be giving one away. But you got to get over there and find the place to sign up for it. I'll be giving it away in about a week. Just blends for you. I'm telling you. Love the pencils. Love the book. Um, next time I will go ahead and grab either my Marcos or my Prismas and do another page and show you that it really doesn't matter the pencil that you're using. If you've got Crayola, then use those. Coloring is about using what you have, making it work. Just make it work. That's what I tell the ladies at my um, four-hour classes that I do on some of the Saturdays. Use what you've got. This doesn't have to be an expensive hobby or craft. Just relax and have fun. But see where I colored that darker edge? It's coming along really nice. And even after I color it, I can come back in and just beef that up a little if I want to. So you can always come back in and add more. I'll come back in with that darkest dark and come right up under this edge and that'll just help push that to the underside and pop this part of the flower out. And as you find little areas that didn't get coated. Just go back and tag them and get them coated. This whole coloring thing is so forgiving.
All right, so there's that one. So that's what I have, and I'm going to keep working on this and finish it up. Okay, so there you go. It's all finished. Let me remind you that as you're coloring, you're the artist. You use whatever colors you want. And if you find that there's a lot of white peeking through because there's so much texture on the pages, try coloring in a different direction. And that should help to alleviate some of that. Um, again, this is from the Grayscale book. Beautiful Nature was sent to me by Nicole Stalker. Thank you so much, Nicole. Beautiful book. Can't wait to get started on another page. So many beautiful pages in here. Just, just yelling and calling for me. <laughs> All right. Have a good day, and I will talk to y'all later.